What's up everybody, Yoki here. Today I'm going to be doing the new Chiku Pain's s rank skill only mission using only one Sage of Sticks Path Obito to get it done, one Jubito, whatever you want to call them. And I'm really happy with this mission because it's definitely got some challenge to it, but it's nowhere near as ridiculous as Kengetsu or Chino was, and you don't need a very specific team to get it done. Now, starting off on map one, you have eight enemies appearing. This is the one and only wave. So what you want to do here is go out using all of your jutsus and get rid of the enemies down to one. And then from there, stall back up your chakra for the next map. Now you want to prioritize staying spaced out before anything else, because if you get super comboed, you will be gone before you know it. So now I'm going to go over my team so that you guys know which units you can bring if you are missing any of the units I have here. When it comes to Fu, I'm using her strictly for her 200 self heal, so she can be replaced with anyone else who has healing of some sort. Uh, a good example is the new Ido Yugito who came out, she has a 250 buddy heal. When it comes to Jubito here, of course you want to bring him if you have him yourself, otherwise bring him as your helper. Uh, if not, you want to bring the last Naruto or the new Blazing Bash Kimimaru with their third ability that lets them ignore the type disadvantage they have against heart units in general. Um, but yeah, Jubito's here for that crazy high nuke power and his Jutsu immobilizes as well. When it comes to my second row, both Naruto and Obito share the same buddy skill which is a 15% chance of dodging. And then their sync skill with skill units reduces heart damage by 20%. So this is the row I'm going to be using to tank with. Now, Naruto is here for his long range AoE ultimate. If you don't have him, you want to bring someone like Utakata, Anoki, worst case scenario Han or Fu to clear out the mobs especially on the second map. Now when it comes to Kid Obito you either need to bring him or one tail Naruto from Blazing Bash. You want to bring the first version of him because they both have the ability to boost the attack of your teammates and you're going to want to do that to help nuke Pain on the final boss. That's what I really like about this mission you only need one of them not both. And when it comes to Tsunade, she is here for her healing. If not her, you want to bring Samurai, Karen, or Shippuden Sakura. And then for the last Naruto, he is here because he has his third ability, which lets him ignore the type disadvantage from heart. So he really packs a punch here. Also, he has a 250 buddy heal, and that is always a great thing to have. When it comes to the second map here, you have 10 enemies including Conan, so you want to make sure you start off with the second row here, that way you can use your long range AoE ultimate, wipe out everyone except one of the units, and then you can pretty much go ahead and nuke Conan from there. Now using my last Naruto and Six Path Obito, if I used both of their ultimates back to back that would have been enough to take her out, but since I didn't know how much HP she had, I decided to boost my Jubito with my Kid Obito and then uh, nuke her that way. Now the thing to be careful about here with Conan is she does have that combo status ailment and she can give you anything. It can be health ceiling, chakra ceiling, so that's why you want to make sure that you get rid of all the enemies when you get here. And after she is gone, I'm going to once again stall back up all of my chakra for the next map. But before I move on, I'm going to make sure that I boost up my last Naruto and Jubito with Kid Obito. If you don't know by how much he gives, he gives 50% attack boost for five turns. So after he boosts up your units, you have two turns to make sure that you finish off the last guy here and move on to the next map. So make sure you get his HP really low so that you can ensure that you KO him within that two turn time frame and you're pretty much good to go for the last map.
On to last map here, you have the boss Chiku Pain. Now you have three turns before his reinforcements come in. Now I used Jubito's ultimate up there on purpose. I wanted to stay far away so that he can uh, attack close to my other two units down there. And that way I could use my Naruto's Jutsu just to get a 15 hit combo going. Also using this Naruto's Jutsu twice in a row is stronger than using his ultimate. Now I'm going to use the last Naruto's ultimate in the bottom right corner here just to keep Chiku Pain isolated from the other two when they pop in because they do have a substitution Jutsu field skill and once they pop in that's where this mission starts to become a little bit of a problem. You want to make sure you cut off the time to speed so that you ensure that you hit the uh, boss with your ultimates. You don't want to miss there. And also if you do not get rid of them quickly enough what will happen is they will use all of their ultimates back to back and uh, Chiku Pain will cut your HP straight in half and he goes first. Shirado Pain which is the mechanical one uses his Jutsu which will deal over 2000 damage to your skill units if you don't have any damage reduction. And then Tendo Pain uses a vast range ultimate that hits everyone in its range so yeah if you don't get rid of them before that point in time you're pretty much done for. But yeah, you guys see right there, I actually finished him with my Naruto. If I did not get that critical, I'm pretty sure he would have lived. Uh, even if he lived, I could have finished him off with the last Naruto's Jutsu or Sonate's ultimate. But anyway, there you guys have it. Pain's S rank skill only impact. Hope this guide helped you guys out. If you guys got any questions, please feel free to ask. I will get back to you when I can. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe before you go. Peace.